Hello, today I'm going to show you an overview of sequences so you know which one's which. Most common that come up on maths exam papers, you'll learn it in lesson, uh, generally foundation and well it does go on higher but there's a little bit more to it so let's start. In arithmetic, an arithmetic sequence the same number is added every time. Okay, arithmetic, remember that word. So I've done one here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now, as you can see, using the rule of arithmetic, I've added the same number every time. It's 5, 5, 5 and 5. Okay, nice and straightforward. So let's do the next one. Can't clearly see it there, but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we are adding 2 every time. So the next one would be 12. The next one we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have gone up in 10 every time. So the next one would be 50. And then finally, this one, we have 9, 18, 27, 36. Now, if you know your nine times table, you would be able to recognize this instantly without having to think about it. But some people haven't got that knowledge so we're going at 9 to 18 is a 9, okay? We plus 9 to get to 18, then we plus 9 to get to 27, we plus 9, that's the gap in between. These are useful little things to put in there so you know what you're going up in until you're sure. So the next one would be 45. One because one, two, three, four, and we're looking for the fifth one. So five times nine is 45, or we could just simply add another nine onto 36, which gives us 45. So that's basically it. So once you've mastered this, no problem. These are, these are fine. For examples, so let's now go on to the geometric sequence. Don't be fooled, it's not difficult because there's just another rule, another formula that you're going to follow. The same number multiplied every time. So it's the same number multiplied opposed to added every time. So in this example, we have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So we're going to multiply by the same number. So, two and four, we've multiplied that two to get four. So we started off with two, we now have four. So let's multiply by two again, we now have eight. Multiply by two again, we have 16. Multiply by two again, we have 32. And then, if we multiply that 32, we're going to have 32 times 2, which is 64. Next one, we have 3, 9, 27, and 81. So let's have a look at this one. So what are we doing? What have we times 3 by to get 9? We've times it by 3, haven't we? Because 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 9 is 27 times by 3 again gives you 81. And if you want to be really, really cocky about it, 81 times 3 is 243. Same again. So, how did we get to 10? 1 times 10 equals 10. 10 times 
10 equals 100. 10 times 100 equals 1,000, so on and so forth. That just go on forever and ever, as could anything. And then finally, another example, what did we times by 3 to get 15? Well, it's 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 5 is 75. 75 times 5 is 375. Okay, so now you have two common ones sequences. Okay, two common sequences there. Arithmetic, you add. Geometric, you times. And arithmetic, you add. Geometric, you times. Or multiply, sorry. So, then we have the famous one, which is the Fibonacci. Hopefully, I've spelt that right. The Fibonacci sequence. So, this states that each number is the sum of the two numbers before it. Confused? Don't need to be. So, 1. We're going to start at 1. Now, it's saying each number is the sum of the two numbers before it. So, I'm just going to change that word for those that get confused. It means add. So, each number you add of the two numbers before it. So, 1 plus 1, yeah, is 2. So, now you're doing 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. 8 plus 13 equals 21. So on and so forth. So you are adding together the two numbers before it. Let's do this. It's another example. So I've got two, two. If I start on two, and I'm going to add these together, right? Two plus two equals four. Two plus four equals six. Six plus four equals 10, 10 plus 6 equals 16, let's do another one, 10 plus 16 equals 26, the next one, we've got 3 and 4, 3 plus 4 equals 7, 4 Plus 7 equals 11. 7 plus 11 equals 18. Let's do one more. 18 plus 11 equals 29. Let's do one last one. 2 plus 9 equals 11. 9 plus 11 equals 20. 11 plus 20 equals 31. And 31 plus 20 equals 51. So this one, the Fibonacci, is probably the more difficult one to learn straight off the bat. But you will understand it the more you practice it. Like I've said before, get a textbook, an exercise book from your teacher, sorry, and, um, or a pad from home, and start writing these down in just nicely written titles um, because you do need revision, in, you know, information for when the exams come and you can go back and revise all the basics so you've got that knowledge. 
Okay, see you soon. Bye.